everybody and welcome to today's video. We're specifically talking hair care today because on the zero waste journey, I found one of the hardest swaps to make has been my shampoo. I've tried multiple different bars, as I'm sure many of you have, which leave my hair feeling really heavy and thick and greasy to the point that you almost want to go back to your bottle or you need to end up using clarifying rinses like apple cider vinegar and just going through a whole host of processes that you don't need to. So I'm really happy to bring you today's review, which I have been testing quietly in the background for the last eight to nine weeks and I'm very confident in the information that I'm going to share with you today and very confident that you are going to love Ethic or Ethique as much as I do. So from the outset, I have two disclaimers to make. Firstly, this video is not sponsored. All of the opinions in this video are my own. I spent my own money on these products and I was also gifted one of their products by a lovely friend of mine. So to get that out of the way, this video is not sponsored. And secondly, I do not have colored hair. This is my natural hair color. So all of the opinions in this video are based around that. So to kick off today's review, a little bit about Ethic might be useful. So Ethic is a New Zealand company and they were founded in 2012 and their whole mission is based around hashtag give up the bottle and aiming for something more sustainable in the form of these hard conditioner and shampoo bars. They have a ton of information on their website concerning their brand, concerning their products and I actually had a lot of fun scrolling through because not only is it really comprehensive as far as the products go but it's also really comprehensive in terms of learning something about the plastic pollution problem, about environmentalism generally. All their products are plastic free and they do not contain any petroleum based components. Obviously that's amazing. Although they are packaged in a cardboard material, this material is completely compostable in home compostable systems. This packaging is also printed with soy ink and the cardboard is sourced from sustainable forests. So all of that for me is a straight up win. Now we do have to have some leniency when it comes to brands using packaging. This has to be transported all over the world and they do need a mechanism to protect their products. So to me, this is an absolutely amazing solution, which is sustainable from start to finish. This is a vegan cruelty-free brand made from plant-based materials. And they are certified palm oil free from the Orangutan Alliance, which again is another win-win if you are a consumer that is really concerned about the devastating impacts of palm oil. Like of course we are in our house, you've seen that in many of my previous videos. And they are a fair wage employer, meaning that the farmers that produce their ingredients are being paid a fair wage. If you care about the planet, if you care about the environment, you tend to care also about workers' rights. So knowing that the people who produce the ingredients for this product are being looked after in the proper way and being respected means that I am 100% more likely to use a company like this than say one that doesn't, not naming any names. So onto the products themselves, I bought mine from Holland & Barrett, which are now stocking an extremely extensive range of products, which I'm delighted to see. And the pack that I bought was the Ethic Trial Pack for normal hair types, and I paid €12.99 for this trial pack. I did not go straight in and buy full price products because I wanted to test them and see whether they did agree with my hair type. And it contains four samplers. So you get Pink Delicious, which is a solid shampoo bar for normal hair. You get the Wonder Bar, which is a solid conditioner for oily or normal hair. And on a side note, you get a Bliss Bar, which is a solid face cleanser. And you also get a sweet orange vanilla solid butter block. So that is for use on areas of dry skin. And a lovely friend of mine, Lauren, actually bought this for me to try. So I have a couple of products in here still, but I have tried most of them. So this is another hair sampler and it contains five minis from the range. Frizz Wrangler Shampoo, Healy Kiwi Shampoo Bar, St. Clement's Shampoo Bar, the Guardian Conditioner Bar, and again, the Wonder Bar Conditioner Bar. So it is fair to say that trying all of these different bars allowed me to form a really well-rounded opinion as to how the range performs across the board. So the first thing you'll want to know is how does it clean your hair? So it lathered up extremely well, just like your normal shampoo would. Essentially what you do is you drag it through your hair and then create a lather. Now if using a solid shampoo bar is not something you're used to, it might feel a little bit odd to just drag something through your hair, but I promise once you get used to it, there really is no difference. 
and it washes out really easily, leaving no residue in your hair, which I really, really liked. And then you can follow up with a conditioner bar, but I found that I really didn't need to because they are so moisturizing. They left my hair incredibly clean, incredibly moisturized, and really, really light. There's no heavy residue or greasy or oily feeling left over that you might have experienced with other shampoo bars. And I like that because it means that you don't need to use a clarifying rinse. Anything that means I have to spend less time in the shower and less time on my hair care while getting great results is a win. Now one thing to be aware of is that I tried this out in a hard water area and in a soft water area and the lather is definitely better in a soft water area. That's a given, I think if you live in a hard water area you will know that from using products at home anyway, but just be aware of that you may experience different results from place to place. But as far as the cleaning action of the shampoo bar went, I didn't notice any difference. As far as the smell of these products go, I really, really like them. So they are what they say on the packaging. So this one here is St. Clement's and it's orange and lime oils to cleanse and refresh. And guess what? It smells like orange and lime. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's really nice. Oh, it's really nice. If you're concerned that these are going to break your skin out, definitely don't be. I have the most sensitive skin on the planet, whether that is my face, my chest, or my back. If I use any kind of a new product that is in any way clogging to skin, I will get really bad acne in those areas. And I am so, so thankful that that did not happen with these products. That is a testament to the ingredients that they use, which we can all pronounce. I think that's so great. If you've ever looked at the back of a shampoo bottle, half of the ingredients you can't even pronounce. So the fact that they can write coconut on the back of their products is amazing to me. And it means that I can have confidence that I'm not putting chemicals on my skin. I'm not putting anything that's going to block my pores onto my skin. And that really is a concern if you do suffer from acne or any kind of a skin problem, because a lot of the time, if you wash your hair with conditioner and it trickles onto your skin, it can be a reason why your pores are clogging. Now the conditioner bars, are truthfully, and I mean this truthfully, the best conditioner bar I have ever used and probably ever will use. I feel like this is going to be so, so hard to beat. If you've ever used a conditioner bar in the past, you probably have noticed that when you try and drag it down your strands, it literally drags your strands. You're just chilling out in the shower, minding your own business, you pick up the bar and suddenly you're tearing your hair out. Well, thankfully, this does not happen with any of the Ethic conditioner bars that I tried. They're so soft that they almost melt in your hands. They're so oily and creamy and buttery and just envelope your strands so nicely. There's no tugging, there's no dragging, and they rinse out really easily and really well. This, honestly, I can't rave about this enough. If you are going to try anything from this range and you're concerned, I would go and I would try a conditioner bar first because they are just a testament to the quality of the products that Ethic are producing. Ethic stands over the point that if you buy one of these bars, you are saving five 350 ml bottles of conditioner from going to landfill. And that is so exciting to me. One small thing that you can change in your bathroom right now means that five plastic bottles are not going to end up in our environment. Yes. As far as the price point goes, I do think that the longevity of these products matches up with the price point. The fact that you don't have to buy a shampoo or a conditioner for between two if you use these small sample sizes to six months if you're using the full size bars means they are great value for money. They do last an extremely long time if you look after them correctly. And that is one thing that I would say, they're just like any other soap. You do not want to be using them under running water and you don't want to store them in your shower. So I actually have a little soap stand from Pan Free Irish Soap, which is made from coconut strands. And I leave my bars to dry out thoroughly on that when I am not using them. It makes them last longer. It allows them to re-harden up and reconstitute after you're finished in the warmth of the shower. But Ethic does have their own soap containers, which look really beautiful and they are also made from sustainable material and are completely plastic free so if you are making a purchase I wouldn't be opposed to buying something like that but please make sure that you do need it again always coming back to the point of the zero waste lifestyle make sure you need the product before you buy it so I think you can get the picture that overall I am incredibly excited to be able to tell you that these products are worth your money the company is worth your investment and if you are concerned about trying a new product the sample sizes are a really really brilliant way to test out a couple of different samples and see whether you like one over the other before you make your full-sized purchase if there was one thing that I would recommend from this range for you to try if you're new to it it would be the conditioner bars because they're hands-down 
amazing and I will stand over that. So with that said, I really hope that this video was helpful for you and you learned a little bit about Ethic and about what you can expect if you do go out and purchase anything from the range. If you did buy anything from the range, please do let me know how you got on down in the comments section below. And before you go, if you wouldn't mind giving this video a big thumbs up, that would really help me out. And also hit that big red subscribe button so that you don't miss any more of my zero waste videos. And I can't wait to see you back on my channel again. Bye!